Good evening, Star Citizens. Welcome back. It's Saturday night. Tonight we're going to relax and we're going to run some cargo. So, for each ship that has a hold, or each ship type, in my fleet, I'm going to go ahead and make one run cargo. And we'll get uh, the best cargo we can figure out for each level. So, we're going to start out with four SCU inside of the... Oh, I'm blanking it already. Oh, instead of the Pisces. So we're going to jump in. We're right now above Microtech. And got to drop into New Babbage, where most of our ships are stored. And we'll be doing most of these runs in the New Babbage area. We're going to do a Pisces run. Um, we're going to do different cargoes here and there. We're going to visit some different spots. We could do it all in the same cargo and see what kind of flies, but I think it's better to do like maybe some medical supplies, maybe some diamond or some gold. So with this four SCU, we're gonna make sure that we're in a sperm suit because we're gonna go see if we can't do something illegal. We get a kind of stat, we get a kind of stat. But uh We'll try something a little bit different, a little bit outside of my normal comfort zone. Where are we? We're off to the left. Hey, okay. gotta get to the starport here. Change out to a Pisces. Critical threats dropping in. That's not tonight. Tonight is the high stakes game of cargo running. Oh, we're not coupled. We've been sinking, that's why we keep falling. Oh, I think we just, we just barely survived there. Ooh. All right, one through six, where are we going? I'm gonna guess number one. And it looks like tonight I am the winner. <laughs> gotta remember we are in a C1, so we gotta wait for those doors to open up just a bit wider. Do it. Drop our gear. All right, C1, we'll be back to you later tonight for sure. Good, we have a gun, we'll 
We may need to shoot somebody. We're gonna do illicit cargo, so it may go badly. But we don't want to risk too much. So we're just gonna do it with Pisces. Speaking of Pisces, um, somebody's got a this is C8R. Can't see on top of the wing. I think this is a C8R. The only other option I think is the auspicious red paint job. Uh, somebody did in fact just leave that there. Interesting. Terminal. I'm just bringing everything here real quick. Claim, file, claim. Let's see what it's. Where now? File. Claim. Claim. I had these things flung out all over the place. Break Vulture, we will need you next, so. B5X. Nothing else to grab, it looked like. Let's get an idea of what our path is going to look like here. Uh, let's see, so we'll start with 4 SCU on our C8. Then we'll go to the Drake Cutlass Red, and then we'll go to the 400i. I believe it has 40 SCU storage. And then onto the Seed 1. Then I have to take another look, but I think it's the MSR. Then it's the Taurus. Then it's the C2. And then finally our Miss Call C, which is an entirely different style of game. Drink a little. You have driven me to drink. You good star citizens, hopefully. Place. Right there, please. Okay. Still need more. It's Frizzum, F-R-I-Z-Z-M-M-M, two Z's, three M's, no A, no N, Frizzum, not Frizzum. You're goddamn right. Grab the wrong thing. And to grab the bottle, grab my sperm suit instead. Don't mean to be totally indecent here at New Babbage. There we go. Now we're fully hydrated. Yeah, we're still not able to drop that where we need it. Okay. Armor put on helmet. Preferably an inconsequential one. Page two. Go ahead. 
custom this helmet on me. something. There we go. And hundred and fifty extra rounds. And finally go back to weapons. Your attachments because I want to find a couple key components to make this slightly better. There we go. Gamma and attach it to. There we go. Just in case we get in a firefight, I want to win. Where are we going? What, what was our hangar again? Hangar number one. Systems on, engines on, contact ATC. I think we need to go that way. Uh, nope. You torque. Bud screw. Can't do, it's got an OEM involved right off the bat. Alright, nose up, gear up, that'll up. Spot force and speed. Alright, how far do we got? 3,000 and we're climbing. Fairly fast, okay. We'll get there. We're in our red Pisces, well, one of our red Pisces. This is the, like I was saying, the auspicious red one. Oh, put my gear down for no reason. I like this one. You can't see it, but there's a giant. Oh, there it is. There's a giant cock on the wing. All right, we are at sufficient enough atmosphere to at least plan our route over to U Twerp. Budge Grory. Set that route. The C8 Pisces was my starter ship when I bought into the game. And I quickly found out that it just needed to be upgraded right away to something a little bit bigger. Uh, the guns on it were under undersized. The SCU is a little small. I think there are better starter packages out there, but it was the one that seemed like it interested me the most, especially considering that I want eventually to have Pledge the Carrick. I'm not there yet. Getting close, but... Uh, one day I will have pledged to Carrick, and at that point, I'll also get concierge status. Buds Grory within sight here.
what's nice and bright in this side of the planet. pretty fast but it seems like this Pisces wants to air brake itself pretty good so we're not too worried only real loss here would be the FS9 on my back so we can get those pretty easily pretty handily at any bunker bogey we're being targeted don't see it. Oh, there it is. What is it? It's a reclaimer. Holy shnikes. We can't deal with a reclaimer. Um. Why is there a reclaimer? small box. What's in the box? Ooh, lots of little boxes. Okay, we're gonna take a look at these boxes. We may not have to actually buy anything. Scrap. Any scrap. Canning. Scrap. Not this one. All by itself. Alright. We don't have a multi-tool, so we couldn't move it if we tried. Let's go inside and see what we can buy. Did I park on the wrong side of this? It feels like I did. one of the last times I was here, there was a guy hiding inside and he killed me. He killed me, Mal, with a sword. Alright. Good. Alright, what can we buy? Oh. No illicit cargo here. Um. I feel bad. Now let's Get out of here. Let's go find bad things. The whole mission with the Pisces. Uh, that's right. This is a place that you sometimes sell the illicit cart. I remember now. Let's see what we... We're hitting the Google at the moment. over to microtech real quick and just space to place right there look at that cup even bigger one on the wing Let's see. 
engines on. Now the trick is going to be not dying to those guys that have us locked. Okay. Lock course and speed. Go ahead and plan our route. We're going to go to... Hey, it's right there in the Necropolis. Wunderbach. Force and speed. A little more height. Almost there. Not a bad looking little ship. Definitely carries the anvil design language with it. six miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes, it's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. took Ooh, we're landing in the dark so I don't want to face plant oh I can just barely see oh I always forget that I can do this uh -huh. Yeah, we got a couple of them here that we can't load if we tried, but let's just see what they are. Waste. More waste. Okay. Good. Gear down. Okay. Night vision goggles at the moment. Apparently we do actually. Gosh, it's Interesting. Got a white crate over here. Nothing too terribly interesting in there. Crate right here. Some rave pants. Oh, 
balance. Light bulb here. Like that. Doubt that we'll find a multi tool in here, but. Oh well. Right. Widow is expensive. It's like the Pisces. I have four SCU widow confirm. Except go to a place to sell. Engines on. No? Let's see. For some speed while I figure out where we're going to sell this bit. You can sell it at Dublin Scrap and Storage on Utorp. Do a generic set route there. All right. Speed. A little bit more. Much more. Come on, G. There we go. Find uh, buds, Devlin scrap and stuff.
nice thing about the Pisces, you can drop in. It's right next to the cell elements. We get away with. Select that. There we go. I think we're going to make about a 12k off of that. Yep, totally worth the risk. I mean, it wasn't a hard run, so I'm not going to complain too much. How did I get night viz? Oh, sorry, man. Just saw you. Just took a look over here. Okay, so the night viz is a programmer thing called Reshade. Um, there's a YouTube video I saw about it, and uh, it's very, very handy to have. It'll it basically reshades the entire game, and yeah, night vision. Uh, it also has like infrared between the two of them very handy also ha in other cases it can do uh, this one called darken which is very handy if you're on like daymar that's super bright and you just want to darken it up and then it has like pseudo HDR which is what I normally run in mm-hmm Yep, program called Reshade. One sec, I can link it. Or at least link the video that I found it in. That's what I'll do. Because it's like an install guide and it's pretty handy, pretty quick. No, it uh, easy anti-cheat, it's not, it's not a cheat at all. It's not hacking anything. It's literally just changing the display properties that your graphics card produces. Okay, so we've successfully done the Pisces. Now we're going to move on to the cat, not to the uh, to the uh, uh, Drake Red Cutlass. Yeah, I was worried about that too. Um, once I land with this, I'll go and I'll link that video. Quantum not responding. All right. Where are you? Go. Found it and posted it. Back into the game. Nope. All right, Microtech, what's up with you? Why can't I quantum to you? first started playing Star Citizen, I've had that for a little while now, when I first started playing Star Citizen, I wanted to deal with all the constant haze that was everywhere, 
and the HDR filter in this knocks out a lot of that haze. One of the reasons why my stream looks a little better is because it's not as hazy. Game has been a pain today. Yeah, I'm I'm feeling some hiccups here, for sure. Contact ATC command, I think it will. Or I'll just shut the entire ship off. That's also good. Let's let's exit stone mode here. <laughs> Six hundred eyes. Beautiful ship. Um and I'm jelly. That's a good ship. I like it a lot. Feels like it's a... What is this? That was weird. I, one of the first times I've seen an animated landing icon. That's cool. Uh, sorry, back to the 600i. I feel like it's like the more usable 890 jump. Like, it's the ship that you get to say, yeah, flaunt, you've got an, a luxury cruiser, but it's actually usable, unlike the 890 jump. It's just ridiculous. Oh, oh really? Oh, that's got to be fun. Is it like my Carrick? My Carrick, if I load anything in the garage, it just bounces around. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Bounces around and makes a terrible racket. And this guy's Pisces is still here. I think that just means they're good. oh they are doing a redesign of the 600 that's probably one of the reasons they're redesigning its interior spaces let's see so we stored the four scu all right next largest we have is a tie between the drake cutlass and the drake vulture double check my numbers there yep that's right so I'm going to go with the Drake Cutlass Red only because it's slightly faster. And we're going to go to SMO 18. I think that's either diamond or gold. One of the two. We'll do that run. Two. Hanger. Two. Yeah, the Red is pretty good. I definitely suggest that everybody plans and has a... Um, an ambulance style ship in their fleet in their Aesop uh, either the Pisces or the red here I like the red because it's more capable in a firefight uh, so if I want to go do an 890 jump mission I can do the red and win against the two add-in fighters yep you nailed it and then on top of that it's got good beds this bed is very handy. It's seen a lot of use. 
yeah, I've got both too. I think that they are mandatory that you eventually buy one, one or the other, doesn't matter. In this game, you, you have to have a little medical thing if you want to go do bunkers or do that style of mission. Yeah. Oh, I, I ran the C2 as kind of like a mobile mission hub for a little while. So I had, you know, a Cyclone. I had uh, the Pisces in there. I had an 85X. Uh, the rock um, I had a bunch of stuff in there and would just run around as kind of like a mobile base yep can't wait till I don't know how best to put it that basically off-grid living becomes feasible where I can just have a carrick out in the middle of nowhere respond to it respawn to it and then take you know the the Pisces or whatever I have stored in there around to where I need to go force speed we'll set our route to SMO 18 set that route Right, we're definitely enough to flop back down, point at our target. I haven't gone crazy on buying ground vehicles. Um, every patch I end up buying something like the P2 or the PTV or the uh, the STV and lately I've been getting into uh, carting around the Drake Mule I like that I agree. Urs is really, really good. I just haven't. I've got one. Uh, I haven't. Well, I've got it in game, um, but uh, haven't had much use for it. The other day, when um, these overdrive incursions started, with we were doing the the bunker missions, and before we realized you could just shoot the turrets, uh, we were parking away and driving the Ursa in. I'm really enamored with that little missile tank that just came out. Uh, I want to play with that more often. But the only gameplay I can see in doing that is kind of like baiting people to come pick you up. And then just knocking them out of the sky, being bad people, essentially. But I mean, if you got like three or four people doing that, anybody comes to rescue you, you kind of annihilate them. Mm-hmm. All right, we got a bunch of ships here. Avenger Titan. Let's see if there's anything. Misc Freelancer is the only one that really... I see some lights over here, but... Person? I don't know. Let's see, it's a very bright light though. Just not coming up as a vehicle. Drop our gear.
All right, if I remember right, this is gold that we buy here. SMO team. That's the high value item here, at least. It is good. Um, <laughs> I, I spent some time in a Drake Cutlass Black as one of my pledges before upgrading it. Uh, and so hopping into the red feels old hat and it it's good. It is a great little ship. All right. That's a lot of gold here. Man, makes me wish I had my MSR here. Just buying 12 SCU and Boogie, trying to buy 12 SCU. There we go. All right, got it. Now we're gonna go back to Microtech, sell this, and then we'll be on to, I wanna say the 400i. I think the 400i has 42. Hey, cool, cool box setup. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it has 42. So I'm I'm going small to large in my fleet. So we started with the Pisces, then this well, this and the vulture tied. And I think that this is easier to fly than the vulture, so. and speed go ahead and pre-plan the new babbage new babbage it's 42 scu what should we pick up we could try diamond that's smo 13 i think you're on new babbage Basically, I'm just trying to show a bunch of different little routes and runs that you can do to try and maximize your profits with whatever size ship you're running. Uh, apparently, I didn't lock course and speed, and we've just been hanging out in midair for no reason. So we spent 70000 and... I like showing the routes as they come to New Babbage because of the ability to land at Commons. I mean, it's one of the fastest trade hubs there is. All right. We're at 11, we can poke over. Got the wee woo lights on. Wee woo woo wee. Babbage is looking crispy at the moment. Looking really good. Agreed. It does need to be able to just like have the floods on or have the wee woos on or both, but uh, or like to toggle through them. That That would be great. You don't even have to change the button, just let me toggle through them.
I did get the invite. Welcome to the org. It was not in the place I was looking for. It was actually much harder to go and find where your invite ended up. I kept looking at the place where I need to invite people to come. <laughs> I was like, that's weird. Why is this not easy to find? Hey, we're getting a, maybe one of the giant hangers. Well, definitely at least one of the large or the XLs. Those were up here. Did it give us a... I think it gave us an XL hanger to land in. Yep, show did. We got an XL. Just gotta remember to put it down near the door, otherwise we'll run forever. This thing's big. do that anyway. I wanted to land at the commons. All right. I'm cleared to launch. You had onboard security. Adjust my angle slightly. This is where. Right? As soon as they flag themselves as trespassing, the guard shoots them. All right, how crowded is the ramp gonna be today? Not bad, not bad. Nestle in right beside this Connie. Pretty good. Yeah, no, I'm not. Not disagreeing with you. Normally it is a giant mess. I just had the one Connie to worry about and an upside down vulture. Wait, is that two upside down vultures? Yep. Show, no, it's an upside down cutter and an upside down vulture. Okay. Somebody, somebody's doing my trick. That's normally what I do when I find open ships. I land them upside down. I get in them and I turn them upside down. Got to teach new star citizen to close and lock their back doors. It's not a good practice anymore. All right, let's see what our 70,000 S our uh, 70,000 credits turned into. And I'm just impatient with this door. Open. Dang it. Commons.
Looks like you and Damon were fast friends last night. That was awesome to watch y'all unite and have common ground to talk about. That was awesome. Definitely was uh, great to see the chat explode and I'm glad that my my viewers, my my peeps are of like mind, that they get along, that there's not some strife in the community yet. Let's see. We have Drake. Drake Cutlass Red. Is that the top? Yeah, it was. I completely ignored it. It's the one that's been pulled out. All right. Our 70,000 turns into 89,000. So we made 19,000 profit. That's pretty good for a ship with 12 SCU. I know there will be a day, um, but I'm hoping that day is far in the future. And I also think that this style of community, one that's here to appreciate a game, will be able to put aside differences and realize that we're watching a game. I, I do too. I understand where he is in life uh, and he doesn't have the, t the, you know, the ability to play the game, but I know that uh, one day he will and will be right alongside us. Planetary surface exit. All right, so the red is done. We're gonna be good star citizens, pick it up from the ramp and go fly it over to the spaceport and pick up our 400i. Now, we've got a couple options when it comes to the 400i about what we pick up and try and run with it. We could do illicit cargo again in a bigger ship. I just realized the Connie is upside down as well. It is definitely somebody doing my trick. There was an MSR over here. I got to see if it's upside down. That's a right side up Connie. And that's a right side up MSR. Okay. Oh, that's the Drake. Hello, Orifil de Music. I let you make that decision on your own. I don't uh, do the usual YouTuber thing, asking for likes, comments, subscribes. Everybody knows what to do. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Whoa, did I, I boned myself. I can't get into my own ship. Sorry. Um, this is a, this very chill, zero pressure channel. If I make, you know, 500 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers. It'll be because people wanted to, not because I asked them. Well, the red is stuck here. I was going to be a good star citizen, but I can't. I have one option. I'm going to try that. That's to go back to the spaceport and uh, grab an 85X and use it to board my red. And I'm not going to do that yet. It's fine. I'll let somebody get in it themselves and flip it upside down for me. Ah, oh, the comments. Yeah, I could I could definitely go do a uh, Drake Mule. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. The PTV might get me enough boost onto there, or I could drive a rock on there. First time watching the game. Hey, cool. Um... It's my favorite game to play, I'm not gonna lie. And uh, it's beautiful. Let's see. And uh, it's it's ever evolving. It's, a, it's only an alpha right now. And uh, that means that the game changes 
way too often to be considered stable, but it's that sort of pioneering aspect that I like about the game. Baseport. Okay, the tram just left. So, uh, or if, or a file, or file, or file, or filet. I'm going to be butchering that. I'm sorry. I'm a terrible American person, and I have zero ability to adapt to languages other than my own. And that's, that's my fault. It's not yours. Um, so I am going to call you ODM. That's because I can see three words or a file de music and so you will be ODM to me um, so ODM how did you find my channel was it through searching just what did YouTube suggest it to you I feel he's gone we were at four concurrent viewers and now we're at two. maybe he's one of the two Maybe I ran him off and I mispronounced his name. Was not my intent. Oh! YouTube suggested to you. Fantastic. So you're... Um, so you're looking for similar things and it popped up. I like it. Do you play like Starfield or Elite Dangerous or No Man's Sky or anything like that? Or, quite possibly, are you interested in a tabletop miniature game called Star Wars Armada? Because that's the other thing I do on my channel, is play that tabletop game. So relaxing. Don't worry, Odium. We're about to get into something a little bit more interesting than watching paint dry. Cargo running. We're also going to be... The next ship is actually going to be one of the more pretty ships in the game. Only make music. Fantastic. What? You got a link to some of your music? Go ahead and post it in chat. I'll check it out for sure. Got a SoundCloud or a Spotify playlist of yourself. I'm all about self promotion. Get it going, man. Ah, uh, you get a chessboard in the MSR. You don't have to go 890 jump to get a chessboard. All right. Go ahead and claim that ship. And uh, we're looking through our list. I wish you could sort with this up at the top. It seems like you should be able to, but you can't. All right. 42 is the next one, right? Origin 400i. On to hangar 10. The chess is better. Uh, okay, I will. We'll we'll see about doing an 890 jump mission real quick. Uh, Hangar 10. Let's see if there's an 890 jump mission available, and we'll go check it out. Mercenary. No 890 jump mission just yet. All right. Oh man, this thing's a beauty, and we're only looking at the butt. This has like Chris Craft vibes. So this uh 
you got a Spotify and a SoundCloud account. All you have to do is search my name up. So, or file to music, and everything will appear. Okay. Give me a sec. I'm hopping out. We're going to go Google that real quick. I misspelled it. I put O R A O R E. Gotcha. Found you on Apple Music as well. My man's got some hip hop going. I like it. Y'all can't hear it, but it's in my ears. I'm, I'm digging this, man. All right, back to the ship. Let's see. I don't have the bike yet. The X1, no. But it is on my list of things to buy. I didn't have the funds to pledge it when it was available. Close. All right. This has this weird elevator right here. Habitation deck. Okay. Pull that down in my ears a little. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Okay, back to the game. Oh, I moved that to the wrong side of the screen. Okay. Systems on, engines on. Let's contact the ATC, get ourselves out of here. We'll take another quick look, see if there's a... Uh, 890 jump mission available. Ooh, there's the 890 jump mission. All right. It might be a little tricky in the 400, but we got a pair of Panthers. We can do this. That's amazingly nice of you, Orphile. Yeah, um... You can contact me through my YouTube channel and I'll hook you up with an email address of if you want to send me some stuff, I'll feature it on my channel for you, man. For sure. I like what I heard there on SoundCloud. All right, let's hit the let's hit the skies. Oh, a pair of panthers should be able to deal with the two add-in ships that I get. Uh, normally, it's things like, um, let's see, what have they been? Drake Buccaneer, and what else has there been? Um, I've seen a lot of cartel, um, some glaives, and a couple of um, uh, to, to Drake Cutlass Blacks in the region, so. All right, we need to hit an OM before getting out there. So, where are you? You are not an M. You're Mech L5. Oh, come back here, O1. Somebody's interested in me. Not too many people flying 400s these days. Of course, that's the only way that you're going to get a, 
get ahead is find other people that are willing to help you along the way. And uh, I definitely like what I heard, and I want to make sure that other people get a chance to hear it. It's like it went the wrong way. This OM should help me out. I'd call the 400 the last of the ships you could reliably solo. Like, it's the largest soloable ship, realistically. The C2, you can solo, but its guns really can't help you. It can't turn. It can't fight very well. The 400, you can actually get around and turn and fight. It's got a garage. It's got a usable um, cargo space. All right. Let's not point directly at our bigger sister here. Fly past. We point back. We wait for our add ins wherever they are. Come on. There, they have been targeted. I don't see them, which means they're smaller than me. That's the downside to running the 400. They're, they're small enough to... I think I see them down here. There they are. We got a Gladius. And... A Talon Shrike. Okay. Talon's going to be annoying, but we can do it. At least we're gimbled here. Oh, this Talon is getting in my face. I did dodge that. Nice banter there, NPC. Back on target. There we go. Almost too fast for me. Okay. Talon's being a bit of a pain. Inflicted some damage. The Ooh, ballistics are scary. Maybe I have to change over to this Gladius because it has ballistics. The ballistics can hurt me worse. So I'm going to switch back to the Talon. We're going to get it out of the way. It's faster and more annoying. You know what I do have? Really good missiles. That desync is real. Yeah, we've almost got him. He's spinning out. Get these marksmen cooking. Got him, okay. Ooh, that was more of a fight than I was expecting. The 
Let's get these strike forces on this guy. As he does his run. Gladius is not running. Interesting. Yeah, there we go. Hey, Damon, welcome back in. All right, man, they managed to pull me 14 kilometers away from my target. Let's go do the 890 jump mission for the sole reason of playing with the chessboard. Did you spend all day looking for it like you thought you were going to? All right. Over here, we'll stop all relative motion. Oh, no. That's a lot faster than you thought it was going to be. <laughs> There's my elevator. Please to the technical deck. I don't think that's right. This is the That's the door. Open please. Thank you. All right. I think I should have exited the airlock. That probably would be a better idea. We'll stand back. We'll get a good look at the 400. There you go. Let's see. And screenshot. Okay. Back to the semi mission at hand. Open sesame. Mission. Let's hope we can get that one. Not there. Not there. Let's see. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, I am not doing good. I'm bleeding. Okay. This guy. I don't want to turn you over. I want to loot you. Do you 
you don't have anything, I'm gonna die. I am gonna die here. Okay. I am not gonna die here. Got 9% health. Can I make it to the med bay? Not likely. deck four percent come on I'm gonna die there's nothing zero percent incapacitated oh no yeah I was going to the med bed oh oh well that happens sometimes you know what it's a game of risks and uh, I was risking it to go play a game of chess. I have not changed a single thing in my stream setup. Um, with the addition, with the only thing being different is the microphone now. So um, I'm glad that everything's looking good. I lost a sperm suit and a FS9, so uh, high risks there. We do need to go ahead and claim a chance and shot here. There we go. Let's go get our body back so I can get my FS9. And the four. Whoa, man, I'm burpy. I'm sorry. 400 I back. Oh no. I think we're at Seraphim. That is a bacon planet. We're at Seraphim. Okay. Um, that means we're going to have to have a little bit of wait time on a claim and then fly back. It's going to be some time. Okay. Um, what's going to claim quick enough? The, I think the C1 is actually our, our move here. The expedited feed, two minutes. Good. That's the two minutes I can step back and go listen to more of this guy's music. He's not wrong. It has been raining, and we most Texans do get very upset when it gets colder than, you know, 70 degrees. The Argo Raft is your daily. Okay. Over the C1. What does it have the C1 doesn't? Aside from the ability to fit in a landing bay that's properly sized.
All right, that's about two minutes of this or to file or a file to music's music. Let's see if our thing is claimable or is it's retrievable. All right, we're gonna have a decent sized flight on our hands. Wait, hanger two. Okay, okay. Does it have cool red LEDs that shine on the ground? I don't think so. Look at the red. Ah, uh, work of art. I'm picking on you, man. Got the right crowd with me tonight. Systems on, engines on. Let's turn our shields on. Apparently, hit the wrong buttons as I cycle through my missions. got everything going for it it's gta in space that's what it is or a file it's gta in space you've got the ability to be a space pirate if you want to be a space pirate you can totally board other people's ships take them over steal their cargo sell it for your own or you can be a fine upstanding respectable member of the community and uh go trucking space trucking or uh, bounty hunting a lot of fun it's great there's some awesome wonderful content creators out there that make much more engaging content than i make i kind of just turn the camera on and go Hey, Orophile, I'm definitely liking this crazy that you have on SoundCloud called Paradise Re from Paradise Records. It's it's awesome. I'm digging it. And uh, everything works out. Probably will with Orophile. We'll next stream. We'll get some of his music into it uh, and let y'all hear it. Or y'all can go to SoundCloud right now. Just search his name like I did. Thank you, thank you, sir. I uh, I like to take a different spin on it. Um, right now, it's just casual. Everybody comes in, we talk, we sit, we have fun, and there's occasionally a ship blows up. So sometimes it's me, sometimes it's somebody else.
Let's lighten up the shaders. Get a little more detail in the dark. <laughs> Somebody mentioned something about the 890 jump chessboard being better than the MSR chessboard. And I now I have to know. I never paid attention possible difference. So in the middle of our cargo runs, we decided to go do an 890 jump mission just to look at the chessboard. All right, we just erupted my graphic. All right, let's see. We have got to figure out a way to get to our corpse because I don't think getting back to the 890 jump mission is that easy. Oh, did they finally add a distress beacon you can go straight to? Pulse. Let's go. Set route. I know that it's there before you get to the 890 jump mission. I'm glad that they added one you can get back to it. Oh yeah, now you're now you're jumping into Damon's wheelhouse knowing the layouts of all the ships. I think there might be one in the main gallery. There we go. <laughs> you know what? I'm totally going to steal that 400 over there. When I'm done with this mission, I'm going to just jack it. Eat space time. Pick myself up off the deck here. Ripped on the entrance. one up. All right. Come on. One sec. I have to hop out and end this music that I was chilling with. Need to hear some breathing, some footsteps. Go. Let's 
see anybody there. 12 remaining. Seems a little high. We will also have the ability to pick up our... I see you. There you are. Sir. Oh no, I could do this mostly naked. I just got a little ahead of myself last time. What I will do is go grab that FS9 because that'll help me clear out the engineering section. Through deck. And if I put on any of the gear, it's going to be the white gear for the... Um, this door. That's where my body is. It'll be the white gear from the onboard guards. I was so close. Where's my FS9? There it is. Fine, we'll just put it on board the handy jump for the moment. There we go. Not sure. Okay, I'm hung up on something. Okay, five remaining, two walkers, one walker, four in the hangar. One walker, four in the hangar. Oh, no, it's three in the boardroom, two in the hangar. Must mean there's a walker. And I can't steal the guards' uniforms because they respawned. There must be a walker in here because there's got to be three in the boardroom. There's my walker. Alright, let's go get the three in the boardroom and finish up this mission do the chessboard and uh, or find a chessboard and then get back to our regularly scheduled cargo running Redeck escape route extending past where they should. Alright, now we're looking for a chessboard. Not one here. Just some lovely dining areas and a small bar.
There's the chessboard. There's no chess pieces on it. But there's a chessboard. That's where I needed to go to do the, the secondary mission. Okay. If there's another chessboard in this. Second chessboard, no chess pieces. Well, there's still other places to be had. Let's go to the uh, master bedroom. There's, oh, there you go. There you go. Look, look, look. Got a chess board. With pieces. I was thinking it was in the main gallery. All right. White. Carry. There you go. That is E5. Go for it. Oh, okay. No worries. All right. I think this is the way to go gank that 400. Yep. All right. Let's go take this 400. I think I'm going to go in through the airlock. I think that's going to be easier than falling on the stairs over and over again. Well, I say that, but I'm stuck. On the airlock. Okay, good. <laughs> it just fell down. Okay, come on. I'm stuck. This is the second time the 400 eye has stuck me in a weird position. Okay, that the mummy glass trick worked. Why uh, I've fallen to the floor again. Come on. Oh, I know why I fell to the floor because the stairs are open. trying to weasel my way down the stairs. There we go. Yep, this is what I was afraid of. Falling over and over again because zero G is weird in this room. Yay, we unstuck ourselves. maybe the C hunt the C1 was not the call because it's gonna be the next ship that we're gonna do cargo running in all right let's go to SMO 13 names are borked that's good um, clear the route I've got a graphical bug. I've got no quantum targets. Okay. Let's do this from memory. Let's see if I can do that. Can at least do new Babbage because that's easy to find. At least I thought it was. I literally have no markers. Okay. 
New plan. We're going to go down to the surface of New Babbage. We're going to bed log. We're going to log back in. And hopefully, we'll have our markers back. Close all doors. Hey, I got my markers back. Yay. Clear out. Closing the doors, fixed it. All right, SMO 13. I want to go to SMO 13. That route. Who would have thought closing the doors fixed it? Sometimes Star Citizen's bugs are insane. There's a video on Fear's channel right now. You can go watch it. It's got me in it, and my character's hair would disappear every time I'd put on a jacket. Why? Like, seriously? Also, the shirt that I was wearing would disappear. And for those who haven't noticed, I play a female character in the live, uh, in the Persistent Universe. So that means it's just like bra and jacket. Weird bugs abound. If you haven't seen that video, go. It's, it's pure gold. I, I think it's funny as heck. Uh, during that entire video, we, the, the the other three guys, we had decided that we were just going to prank Fear the entire time and just try and leave him and abandon him any chance we got. Yeah, right? It is a very pervy bug. But true to my word, in 323 and moving forward... I will be playing a male character because they finally added beards and now I can make it look like me. And I gotta say, that character creator is very close to looking exactly like me. Don't need a camera. Character creator nailed me. What do we got here? There's a Connie Aquila upside down. Man, somebody's been going around the universe doing my trick. Must have been somebody who's watched one of my videos before. down we're going in for a landing almost forgot what I was flying I was like I'm probably pretty high up and then I realized I'm a 400 and this thing is on stilts that door and we'll see how the cargo packs in here in just a sec in retrospect I should probably yeeted myself out of the out of the airlock instead of trying to take the ramp here door
Habitation. Uh, is that B backwards? No. Okay. I thought it was backwards. Second. There we go. There's the ship sail terminal. We went to SMO 18 and it had a lot of gold in stock. But let's see what we got at SMO 13. Should be diamond. Oh, look how much diamond is in stock. Oh, I could fill a carrick with that. All right, 166,000. 166.4, so we'll see how much we make profit off of that. <laughs> the weather model on Microtech is just a uh, crapshoot. You get what you get. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. Looks like that weather storm was entirely localized around my ship. Nothing? Something. Nothing? Something. I think once you get up above 200 SCU, realistically, there's only one cargo that's effective to run, and that's RMC. Actually, realistically, RMC is the best return on investment regardless of the size. But I'm trying not to run back to Dunborough 400 times. And with RMC being such a... Uh, such a good... return on investment... Everybody's doing that since leaving this gold, this diamond behind. Gold is almost as good as RMC. Diamond is not, but it's still really good return on investment. Engines on. Let's get airborne here. There we go. Enough to kick up. Nose up. Gear up. Throttle up. Lock course and speed. Let's plan our route to New Bavage. When I pour myself a drink, it is a drink. On the other hand, Tonight, the beverage of choice is from a daiquiri shop just down the road. And um, we're dealing with 48 ounces of daiquiri. And we're about 32 ounces into it, so it's a good night, guys. All right, enough to nose over. But what I will say, PSA, drink responsibly. Note that I am home and my wife did the driving for me. Of course, I am driving a spaceship, which you should not do drunk. quote the venerable Barry Batternath from the movie Beer Fest. What? I'm better when I'm drunk. All over at that asteroid. <laughs> All right, we're going to land at the commons this time. Unfortunately, we know that my red is in the way. 
So we may have to get a little creative. Gosh, this is a beautiful ship. There you go. If you're gonna do a screenshot, do it now. If you need any better angle, let me know. I think Yeah, right about there's the let me pitch her up. There. Screenshot. Okay. Onward we go. <laughs> we joke about that. Last night, my wife and I, we went on a late night snacks run at about uh, midnight and go to a convenience store and there's a car on a trail on a tow truck and a woman in very fashionable shoes and dress getting a field sobriety check she was arrested Put our gear down. So she ran through the barricades at one of the HOV lanes. It's a managed car lane for those who are not in in Texas in Houston. Um, the HOV lane, the high occupancy vehicle lane, special lane that you can drive in if you have two or more or at times three or more people in your car and um, they're usually closed at night and she barreled through the barricade it's okay everybody I'm pushing that ship but it's my ship that I'm pushing All right. yeah she drove through the barricades in a Honda Accord it was fucked up and they're giving her a field sobriety chest and it was not going well from what we could. I mean, obviously because they arrested her. All right, I'm just gonna yeet myself out the uh Oh God, did I do it again? No, I can get back in this one. Okay, good. Close that. Hey, I did my PSA, drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Don't drink and drive cars, don't drink and drive boats, don't drink and drive spaceships. There. Pretty much everything covered. Jesus. That is a heck of a... Driving 100 plus... And oh, into... Oh, the oncoming lanes. Wow. Put all the ships that I own on the ramp out there. You know what? That is a good idea, sir. That's exactly the type of content that I should be making. Am I allowed to stack my ships on top of my ships? Because I do have a Carrick, and that's going to take up a considerable amount of that space. <laughs> You're correct, sir. I am not driving. I am piloting. There's a fine distinction there. And that's the kind of technicality that I live for. 
Origin 400i. Sell off this diamond 180k. Uh, I want to say that there was 40k profit there. Uh, do we buy for 120 or 140? Anyway, let's go back. All right, next ship on the list is actually the C1 that we stranded up in orbit. So we got to claim it. clutter the ramp real quick we'll take our 400i store it and then claim our c2 which will be an apropos time for me to go and refresh a drink that two minute window that we have while we're claiming the c1 I swear, the, the 400 eye damages so easily. It's a little porcelain princess. You remember the other night when it just like damaged itself for no reason, Damon? Engines on. Let's climb out of here. There we go. It was weird. I think the server was just borked that night. Lock speed. Do a little bit of starship porn here. Should be close enough to contact the APC. Ah, oh, is it going to give us the giant XL hanger for this? Are we going to get the the origin bonus here. <laughs> Sir, I'm going to need you to step outside of... I swear that's not me. Sorry, I... Uh... Ship had a mind of its own there for a second. Sir, I'm going to need you to step outside the vehicle. We'll conduct a field sobriety ex ex uh, exercise right now. This is going to be really tight. I feel like this hangar is too small for this ship. Five a.m. in South Africa. Thank you for joining me, sir. I look forward to your message and uh, good night. Thanks for joining us. Actually, five a.m. Good morning, sir. Get some sleep.
Yeah. South Africa. I'm thinking that's UTC. Actually, I can do the math. That's what I do all day. One sec. Let me get to Embus Terminal, store this, and then I'll do the math. Current time is 10. Beer is five ahead of us. So that would be three. So he's UTC plus two. Okay. We'll have to claim the Crusader. C1. And we'll store the 400. I thought I already expedited. Oh, it does say expedited. Okay. I'm going to go refresh a drink, guys. I thank you for sticking with me, and we'll continue this in just a moment. What I can say is that um, the daiquiri stand, very stout drinks. I have switched to lemonade. C1 should be available. One spirit, right? Hanger three. Oh, yeah, lemonade, definitely, definitely lemonade. diamond we've done gold saving the refined or not the refined the rmc for the higher se runs what else is there 
barrel. We could do barrel. Barrel is SM022. Here on New Babbage. Systems on, engines on, contact ATC. And it's wonderful that you don't care whether anyone questions your sexual orientation. You are correct, sir. Oh. Let's just try and tear off a wing while we get out here. I just pressed forward and the doors were open. That just shows that this ship has issues. Correct. Almond milk is pretty high end milk. This is a really good lemonade. Oops, wrong button. Okay. Where was I going again? SMO 13? No, we just. 22. What I want. SMO 22. Set rep. Right after the 64, I think we jump to the MSR. Then from the MSR, it's the Connie Taurus. From the Connie Taurus, it's the Carrick. From the Carrick, it's the C2. I don't know how much we're gonna get to that night because, um, yeah, the drinks are creeping up on me. <laughs> you know it's, I, I, there's no way for me to defend myself because I'm not on camera but it is lemonade really good lemonade I just have to stop the stream restart the stream as like drunken star citizen because we're we're almost there <laughs> okay, okay. Let's, let's uh, stick with the mission at hand. What do we got here? A2 Hercules. Okay. Okay, that's not intimidating at all.
Y'all are fine. I'm from the generation that actually had thick skin and could, could take some verbal abuse. Please don't do that good. I, uh, injured. It's like cocaine exploded all over my cart. Wait, cocaine? No cocaine. Cocaine? No cocaine. Okay, anyway. Oof. Boxes. Nope. Let's see what we can. You were looking for the cargo, Simon. It's over there. Barrel. That's what I want. Dang it. You want spirit, please? Barrel. And it costs us 141. 142 realistic. Go sell this and move on to bigger and better ships. Bunker run, but you can't hurt anyone and have to loot every box. Oh, that's a heck of a challenge. You know what? I can sort of cheat that though, in the sense that I could just take one of the, like defend major or minor threats and only have to deal with the six six NPCs. Engines on. Let's gain some altitude. Nose up, gear up, throttle up. Course and speed. Replan our route to New Bage. Put a little horsepower in it. Yeah, but six is easier than like the 10 that the 15,000 AUEC mission pays. And you still have the NPC guards, which will take out one or two of them, or possibly all six. There are ways to cheese it. Nose over at New Babage. Yeah, 
and quantum. That being said, I can I would do it on hard mode. <laughs> Quote unquote hard mode. I'll do it with like the defend occupants mission that does have the ten NPCs. The only downside to that is there are less boxes. So not as risky. There are less boxes to drinking game where you have the star citizen the drinking game oh okay I think we can we can do that take a shot every time the game glitches oh Is Chris Roberts going to pay to have my stomach pumped? Right. Oh. I am definitely going for McCormick's at that point. Not, not anything fancier. It's going to be in a plastic bottle for sure. Let's get our gear down so we don't you know, land on our bellies. We'll do a third person landing. Front gear makes me look higher than I am. with the fence at the moment. Ooh, that drink is effective. I'm buying whatever the wine is. Okay, I learned when I was 17, Everclear is not to be messed with. I don't even remember what movie it was, but we snuck in Everclear Jello shots. And let me start that over. I don't remember what movie it was. He's somewhere. Uh, at least it shows that there are two people watching and I'm assuming it's you and Damon
Crusader. C1 Spirit. 163, so we made uh, 21 off of that. Not too shabby. Trading is, is good. It's risky putting your own money into it, but I feel that the payoffs are, are realistic in the game. Karim stat uh, for ramming my own ship. It's probably for causing destruction to our our own <laughs> red. It's a CS1. I'm not too worried about it. What country you from? What? What? what ain't no country I ever heard of. They speak English and what? What? English, motherfucker! Do you speak it? Yes! Then you know what I'm saying! Oh, I failed at uh, being a good star citizen. I left my tailgate open. Yeah, I'll be able to pay it in the hangar when I get there. It's only a CS1. Prime stat one. Engines on. Come on, lift off. Fantastic. It's either a newbie move or alcohol was involved. In this case, it's the latter. Right now, definitely the poster child for don't drink and drive. All right, want to take bets? One through six, what do you think we're going to get? I'm going to go with three. That we're going to get number. Right? Damon in. Or both of y'all in four. Okay. Here it goes. <laughs> I win tonight. That is number three. He beats me. Straight up. Pay him. Pay that man his money. I'm just excited. The next ship is my favorite ship.
<laughs> Man, that would be a hell of a mean trick. Record the entire stream and just narrate over it. <laughs> All right, so we got off a of 64. Let's see. I didn't realize the hull A had 64 as well. Interesting. Meanwhile, now we're on to the MSR. Hangar 10. Love this ship. Damon, you gotta yell at them louder. They need the second entrance. But being as it is only the one entrance, I won't complain too much. Oh yeah, we can definitely do that. Uh huh. on the lights chessboard is not the same but the pieces here I think are not as abstract I think they're more defined as pieces they are entirely different boards uh, in that case, I will respawn one second. So, carry. Nope. It's not the piece I want. Put you back there. I wanted the pawn, please. Got the right pawn. Good. We'll place that. In E5's place. Fantastic. And we'll come back and we will do... Yep, there we go. Okay. Secret hidden chess game inside of Mercury Fleet streams. Systems on, engines on, contact ATC. Paid. How much for a chess game? Well, technically, only one person paid a minimum of $260. The first ship with the chess board on it is the MSR, and it's $260. Bucks. <sighs> you know what? I'm going to see if I can convince Fear Stare to play a game of chess with me on the MSR. Or on his 890 Jump. There we go. There we go. Content right there. I'll talk to him about it. Fuck. 
course and speed. All right. Question is, what should we transport in the MSR? We're not at any, like, we're not at the level where titanium becomes profitable. I think we go back to SMO 18 and do, um, see if the gold, I don't think people are running gold at the moment. And technically gold is the most profitable. Meanwhile, I'm going to get a message from YouTube. You need to moderate your comment. Don't worry, guys. I don't care. I was doing great. here to enforce any rules. That's okay, I already marked this channel not for kids. So, if anybody has any problems, I warn them ahead of time by saying it's not for kids. thing I don't like about the MSR look all of the chess pieces right there it's a weird glitch everybody take a drink Lights are supposed to. Oh, don't you join Damon's side about the M the 400 versus the MSR? Come on.
Only 77. Okay. Well. That's still a lot. But because it's Star Citizen, it isn't actually 77. It's 76 and a little bit more. Okay, 450. Yeah, Bob, the difference is I've pledged the MSR and I bought the 400 in game so realistically this is my ship nah the 400 doesn't have the cargo space I need I need at least 100 SCU so that way when the game goes live I can start making a decent profit with gold I have a 400i because I made content off of it. <laughs> all right, all right, let's go. Now I have a 400i so that way we could do all the things that you wanted to see. That being said, it is a good ship. Not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so I found my spreadsheet. We're we're at five rocks. Five rocks have been left all over the place. Luckily, I have one of those as well. Fine, uh, there we go. Commons over here. All right, I'm gonna leave it to y'all. What should the Connie Taurus's cargo be? 174 SCU, y'all's choice. All right, so we didn't fill up 114 of the SR either, so.
Yep, Connie is next. Go for the gold. We did. We went for the gold, uh, and we only got 77 SCU or 76. Somebody else is running it tonight. Ooh, the the ramp is busy. Goes down to the ground. Good, we can. Be a good star season. Close tailgate. No cat. I don't I don't have a cat. What I do have is a carrick. And a C2. And a whole C. I, I could go buy it, that's for darn sure. Ooh, 568,000 back to us. Confirm. We're sitting at 11 million something at the moment. All right. Go hop back in the MSR and uh, go grab the Connie Taurus.
Yeah. Well, the, the weird thing is we're about to pass into, once we get into the Carrick, we're going to pass into running RMC because that's the most profitable thing to run, period. And uh, with no gunner, it's always a huge risk. You saw an aft do blah 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 blah. You saw a raft do ERTs. Contact ATC. What? What do? All right. Standard top loader. Let's go.
So much room in this hangar for activities. Why can't they let the C2 land, uh, the C1 land? Taurus is at the bottom of the world. There we go. Connie Taurus and Ben. apologize ahead of time I will boop the no nose out of this ship for sure oh okay yeah uh, twitch versus YouTube versus doing the whole shebang I look at twitch in a different light uh, than a lot of streamers and content creators do. I think that Twitch is not a good company for the person doing the streaming. Um, I personally will not monetize my channel regardless. I think this is me playing a game, y'all joining me, enjoying the time and effort that I put into it. I don't want to make a profit off of that. This is just something I do to have fun. Um, on Twitch, players, people that create content on Twitch, I think that Twitch takes too much from them to make content personally. Oh my goodness, Fear Stare, what? Oh, you asked the question. Hey, Fear, I'm drunk. I'm sorry. didn't realize it was you asking the question. Thank you, sir. I'm having a blast. I hope that everybody who joins me does. And that's really the goal here. That being said, I will definitely, you know, uplift all my other content creators. Beer's amazing. We had a, a man from South Africa earlier trying to promote his music. I'm going to see if I can help him with that. We're going for gold, so what is that? SMO 18 again? Let's see if I can pick it up. Let's see, it's, there it is, SMO 18. I got lucky.
there was a, uh, a creator. His name was Orifile de Music. Um, so O R E F I L E D E M U S I Q. He had some like hip hop tracks, uh, vocalist hip hop tracks that he was going to offer up uh, royalty free, and I, they sound pretty good. Not gonna lie, I like them. So I, he's sending me some info on uh, email and I'm gonna check him out and see if I can't add him to my stream. And uh, put his info in the, the, the description down there so that way people can check him out if they like it. Yeah, I can't get into the EPTU at the moment. It tells me that there's an issue with the Toby eye tracker. I tried. I wanted to do some stuff on it today, but I don't have the Toby eye tracker, but it's telling me there's an error with it, so. just tells me there's you know a error exception in some string of numbers that I can't repeat right now because I can't remember them but uh, it has to do with the Toby eye tracker you know what I it kicks me out each time so eh, who cares at the moment you're down Let's see if I can keep from ch uh, chin booping. chin boop oh yeah feeling good let's see how you fuck this up <laughs> love the vote of confidence there guys love the vote of confidence I will agree not in the best uh, state to do this but uh, didn't mess it up Out of stock of gold. Okay. Well, that's not good. Hey, my my channel's marked not safe for kids. You have sensitive ears. You are welcome to leave. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker.
There's nothing unfortunate about that, Damon. I'm surrounded by the exact type of people that I like to be surrounded by. They're too loud. Okay, good. Let me work on that real quick. Bring that down. All right, let's uh, run the Yippee-ki-yay again. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. Gentlemen, you can't fight in here. This is the war room. Bit more down. Okay. Uh, there we go. Let's run the yippee ki -yay. yippee ki -yay, motherfucker. See, this is why I'm glad I've got y'all here. Y'all can help me make lower. <laughs> oh, God. You tripped me into uh, another Futurama joke. Oh, wait, I've been moving the wrong bar. My bad. Yippee ki motherfucker. How does that feel, baby? Oh, <laughs> lower. How does that feel, baby? That's actually uh, um, Austin Powers. Shouting one. Shouting. What is the shouting one? Gentlemen, you can't fight in here. This is the war room. Oh, what what else is there? Shouting, 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 shouting. What? Say what? Say what again? Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what one more goddamn time. Hey, I'm flying a spaceship here, aren't I? Let me pay attention to that task. Uh... Yeah, I need to spend some time mastering them between themselves. They're all at whatever I recorded them at. Um... One word. Thunder Cuckoo Fackenberg. Let's see. We couldn't get gold. Maybe we can do barrels. So we can do... God, I'm losing my track of mind. SMO 10 for barrel? Perfect. Good. Shooting something? Ten SMO ten. SMO ten. There we there was a lot of barrel there when we were there. There you are. Then I didn't set the route. Then set route. Let's go.
Will they wipe our ships at 323? God, I hope not. <laughs> I've got a Carrick, and I want to keep that Carrick. Uh, realistically, I don't see a reason why they should. Um, that being said, they are going to increase the ship costs, from what I hear. So that could be a reason. Reset everybody, let everybody earn money, sink it into... I don't know. I haven't seen post yet that says whether or not they're going to wipe. Um, I'm going to operate off of the experience that I have in saying that they've announced all the wipes that they're going to do well ahead of the time. I don't think there will be one. That's my suggestion. Um, we do know that there will be a price increase. So buy what you want now. We haven't been told that there's a wipe and I suspect that we're one to two weeks away from 323 becoming live. Make all your financial decisions based upon my opinions. That's a great option there. Gear down. Definitely at the point where I should not be flying a ship. Here, up. Hey, no chin boop. Perhaps I should fly this ship drunk every time. Oh, boxes. We'll get to those. We'll see if there are any boxes. I think I just answered that, man. I don't think... We haven't been told that there's going to be a white. And with every other previous... Wait, ooh.
Meanwhile, back at the Hall of Justice. Uh, NVIDIA broadcast cuts out occasionally, so the good news is it's like midnight. Well, it's 11 o'clock here, so nobody's in the background. I don't have to drown out my son. All right. I don't know how long it was inactive for, so good luck, everybody. <laughs> you thought I got mad. Nope. Uh, just didn't realize that the mic stopped working. Five minutes tops. Did you hear my comment about your apricots? Okay, shots fired there, Damon. I guess it's time for me to log off. Thank you all for joining me. I'm going to go to bed. Didn't you talk about eating? Kid. I see it in the chat log. Chat log. Okay. Uh, ship is flying weird. That wasn't me. I didn't do that. I may be drunk, but I'm not that drunk. All right. Let's point at New Babage better. There's my home plate. Good. Let's get down to the uh, the ramp. down I somebody getting shot uh no answer currently an armistice so no shots can be fired We can take a small detour to see if uh, Drunken Frism can do uh, space combat. What I can say is that uh, Drunken Prism is pretty good at 
landing a Connie. I have not chin booped it once. God, like reflexes. <laughs> not not today, that's for darn sure. I had a fight with a fence earlier. In fact, this fence up here. They're giving me the blow by blow. Oh. I just realized my character is very thirsty. Okay. Connie Torres. Barrel. 443. I don't remember how much we paid, but... Profit, maybe? Alright, now we're on to the big ships. Now we're on to, like, the Carrick, the C2, and the Hull C. But first, we're going to take a small detour, we're going to load into an inferno, and we'll go kill something. We'll do a combat assistance, hopefully there's one available, and we'll see how good a drunk frism can kill people. Well, kill in pieces. Public service announcement, don't drink and drive. Don't drink and pilot a boat. Don't drink, damn it. Uh, planetary surface exit. <laughs> don't drink and pilot a spaceship. Don't cut the tag on your mattress. You know what? That warning is actually only for the seller. The end user is free to cut the mag the tag on their mattress. All right, engines on. Let's get rolling. Y'all are all like NASCAR watchers. Man, I can't say that word right now. NASCAR watchers. Y'all just want to see the accident, don't y'all?
<laughs> Boo hiss. Yeah. Ooh, it gave us a tall one. Let's see, is it going to be a large or an XL? One sec, let me stop flying a ship before I tried this one. Uh, Betty Butter bought some butter. Said the butter's... No, I can't. Short answer is no. Sally sells she sells by the seashore. You think it's a large? That's a safe bet. Billy Bob blabbered boldly. Yeah, I can pretty much say that. Give Papa a cup of uh, proper coffee in a copper coffee cup. Okay. How much wood could a wood check check of a wood check could check wood? We all wanted to see me crash, right? Won't let me go down, which is up in this case. Come on. Well, whatever. Oh, I was trying to, it wasn't working. Seizure warning, everybody. Where's the... We're going out the hard way.
there's a rather old movie that I would like to quote right now. Oh, and it's by Rick Moranis and Dave Thomas. It's set in Canada, which is perfect. Um, and that is a, this is a 3B production. Three beers and it looks good to me. Why is there no shooting yet? Um, mostly because my ship landed upside down. All right. Landing may be difficult. Let's see how difficult shooting things is. Inferno. Hangar three. Damon's in Canada. Space Trucker Bob is just down the road from me. Three and a half hours, two, depending on how you drive. Systems on, engines on. Check our missions. No service beacons, but let's see if we can get a bounty hunter nearby. Cave on Microtech. There's an HRT. That should be good. All right. I am not Canadian. No, I am from the great state of Texas. Born, bred, and raised. Bred, born, and raised, depending on how you want to look at it. Oh, it's not ignoring, it's uh, concentrating on one thing because that's difficult at the moment. I don't know what it is about our stream sphere. We've got all the Texans and a couple of Canadians. Fear has like four other Texans and me. How about I shoot the air? There, guns were fired. I'm working on it, man. I'm working.
All right, target down. Let's kill these other guys. One down. Two down. There you are. Three down. All right, let's get out of here. Damn it, I meant to hit Alt C. All right, let's read through the comments here. I don't care. I won that fight. All right, back to New Babage. We're on to the Carrick now. Gotta find the home plate. There it is. Uh, I put a thousand rounds again against three targets, so not too bad. Is Texas brisket really that good? Uh, the short answer is yes. Texas brisket is is an art form, really. It is. Oh my goodness! Now, oh, Orophile, you asked a drunk man about food. Oh dear goodness! Now all I want is brisket. As a person, as a man who has traveled to other countries outside of the United States and sampled food from all other, other you know, I've had plenty of food from other countries, Texas brisket takes the cake. It literally does. That's a euphemism. It is the best. What is Earth's curvature? Oh my goodness. Well, uh, to to break that down, what exactly are you looking for? Are you looking for the distance to the horizon or the, the actual angle of departure there? Oh, it's right below me. Three is exactly three. That one's an easy answer. Three has an absolute value of three. Good job.
Okay, so the angle of departure. Um, that I don't have the direct answer. I have to calculate it. And uh, what I can say is you should not drink and derive. That's a math joke, everybody. What is the meaning of life? I have an answer to that, but you're not going to like it. ship all right now we're on to we did the Taurus on to Anvil Carrick Hey, Space Trucker Bob got the got the reference. Fantastic. sec while I Google that. Goodness, my man, that sounds amazing right now. Okay, back to the game. Walking up. Station deck. Systems on, engines on. 
Contact ACC. Oh, this food talk has got me hungry. Not gonna lie, Orophile. That uh, Dakota looks very good. Good night, Damon. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sticking with me through all of this crazy. Nose up, gear up, throttle up. Lock course and speed. All right, now that we're on the the two big ships, we got to do Pickersfield. Not Pickersfield, Dumbro. I'm gonna crash. It's gonna be right here. The Carrick is such a stupid pig in flying. If you're so convincing. Ten five eleven. Time to nose over. Point at Dumbro here. Thankfully, we're going to be landing in the daytime. All right, we got odds on whether or not I crash on this landing. I don't think that's possible to stay up for 40 years straight. After 72 hours, uh, I'm mainly homicidal. Wait, there was an experiment, wasn't there? I'm trying to remember the name of the experiment where they it was in Russia where they kept people up for ridiculous amounts of time. And they they went wacko.
80% chance of me crashing. You say no, Damon. You have faith in me. It'd be a terrible shame to crash the Carrick. already here an inferno oh that doesn't make me feel good Alright, landing went well. Worried about that inferno. Let's go see what we got.
Nothing in this cool box, okay. All right, let's play decoy for a moment. One, two, three, four, seven. All right, now we go run. See if we get attacked. Is that it's a gun from a ship? Okay, shooting happening. That's good. Right, maybe we'll just be lucky. Alright, let's go take a look at the Inferno. the heck is there an invisible wall there invisible walls okay good stuff Open sesame. Well, there's an invisible wall again.
Please don't rob me. I only have 10 million. I am poor. Alright, the engine's on. We're away. Alright, we just hope we don't see that inferno turn blue. Course and speed. Plan a route to New Bavage. This is a US server, so I don't think that we're gonna run into any problems. It's really late for US players. 1206 in Central, so I think we're safe. Nose over, point at new by edge. Away we go. We got away with this one. Right? <laughs> There's a mantis to drop me out of quantum. Agreed. All I gotta do is not explode. Step one, don't explode. Meanwhile, back in the Hall of Justice. Wait, fear you haven't slept yet? It's 6 a.m. and you're still awake? Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm not that far off. I think this is going to be my final run. I am definitely not going to be able to do anything. I'm also willing to bet that Microtech won't buy my entire hull.
Let's let's lay in this one. Sure, the Drake Cutlass Red gets the XL, but the Carrick has to land in the large. Ugh. Good night, sir. Thank you for joining me. Really appreciate you. Love your uh, content while well, you're comments and your ending right Trump prism can land oh what I was saying is thank you for joining me really appreciate you Appreciate you coming and totally appreciate the comments and the commitment to the panel. Grab the 85X, fly over to the commons ramp, so pass out. Systems on, engines on, lift off, come on, gear up, light out, throttle up. Oh. 
It's been out of control. There we go. Hey. Right. Set ourselves correctly. of five million kilometers just to fuck it up at the last three. Down, down, good. We're there. We're almost down. It was an amazing night. These are the nights that you hope for when you stream. Got to make it DDD. See how much we are going to sell. How much of our hold we can sell. That's the only downside to these large cargo ships. The the Eric, the Cat, B2. They don't always buy everything. Six buying at thirteen four. If one SCU have had a night, I didn't buy. Them. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Cool. Man, it's almost that for sure. All right. Well. That's going to be the night. I'll sell the rest tomorrow. Thanks everyone for joining. Thank you for making it such a great night. Oh, see y'all all tomorrow. Normal bat time, normal bat station. Good night, Space Trucker Bob. See you tomorrow. <laughs>